right, so we're on a boat right now in Grand Mission. It's the only way that you can get around. Take a look at all of the water. That right there, if you can see far off in the distance, is West Park Tollway. We're here in the Grand Mission neighborhood where there have been hundreds and hundreds of rescues. Now, someone very famous you may know, Trey the Truth, Houston rapper, known all over. He is here, and he is making sure that he can help out. And so what's it been like for you these past 24 hours? Amazing. Um, when I say amazing, I mean like just unbelievable. I don't, who'd have ever thought you'd see? It looked like we're on a river right now, it's man. Like, it's just words can't even really explain. It. I even I had to evacuate yesterday. I had to get rescued, so like kind of lost the words. Yeah, and you could be just staying at home and just you know watching stuff on TV or what are you doing? Why are you doing this? I felt helpless yesterday when I had to be rescued, so I know that feeling. And um, you know, our team, it was so crazy. I put up a few posts because a lot of people on social media were sharing posts of addresses and stuff, and a lot of people were getting rescued. And um, some of the homies from San Antonio and Austin, they actually came down and they were like, we got access to a boat, we got the trucks, let's get out there. So, you know, we, we went yesterday. Um, to the site where the National Guard was. We slept out there all night waiting for uh, calls, and then we got up probably like 5 or 6 this morning, and that's what we've been doing. Yeah, and it's been okay, so hard. With the fire department right now. So. Yeah, the fire department has helped out tremendously. We actually, it was a hard time getting to you because you were out rescuing people, and the water is just everywhere. You can see it is a lake, folks. I mean, the water is just several feet deep. And the problem that we're encountering here, the people here are encountering, is the water is way too high to walk in it, but it's low in some parts. So that's why it's too low to have a boat go across. So it's very, very hard to maneuver around all of that. And it's taking, you can see how slow we're going. So it's taking a long time to get the evacuees and then bring them to safety. But slowly and surely, we're getting them there. Also wanted to talk with the fire department. Very Sir, you've been out here. And what is the condition been like? Immediate Obviously, immediate. you can see it. But when you go into the neighborhoods, that's when you can really tell what's going on. Obviously, a lot of high water around here. People still in their homes that need to get out uh, just doing our best to get everybody out it's a lot of agencies out here working game warden coast guard fire departments civilians uh, just everybody working together uh, to try to get everybody out you can see that boat right there going with some evacuees people who have had to evacuate as well and take a look at that truck you're seeing just these cars I mean this is a common sight here. We've been reporting since the very beginning, going all over the Houston area and surrounding areas that have been affected. And if you pan over there, you can see that truck almost submerged in water. And the also the, the fear around here, according to emergency personnel, is when this water subsides and actually recedes, what are we going to find? And we're in it for the long haul. Yeah, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of people have been reaching out asking what can they do, and my first words is definitely pray and, and wait till we make it through this week, cause all the way up to Friday, like I don't I don't even understand how it could even rain so much, man. Like it's just it's crazy. And then the hard part is some families don't want to leave their house. Like we've been out here, and some people are staying, which I can't I can't necessarily be mad at them, but it's just. I don't know, it's heartbreaking, man. But uh, definitely, I know the George R. Brown, you know, I haven't had access to get there yet. I've been trying to get there. The routes are, all the routes are closed. So it's a lot of people need supplies. Anybody who have boats, that very helpful now, whether they're big or small, trucks are needed. Yeah. Um, at all the shelters, all baby things are needed, food, clothes. Um, I talked to Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee yesterday, so I told her as soon as we have access, we'll be out there to help yeah. her and the mayor, too. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just unity in Houston. Everybody just trying to come together to do what we can, man. That really is the pulse of Houston, and it's being shown and illustrated here. So here at Grand Mission, people going on boats, rescuing folks. It's an ongoing effort, and it's something that will continue until everyone is at safety. For now, reporting live at Grand Mission, we'll send it back over to you.